Welcome back to Jinx. In this episode, uh, we're diving into chapter 17 of our favorite series. And let me tell you, things are heating up real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the hottest and wildest Yowie podcast on the planet. Get ready to fan yourself because things are about to get steamy. That's right, it's time for Zeal Fujoshi, the show that's all about Yaoi manga. I am Cece, your host, the ultimate Fujoshi, who's always on the hunt for the hottest and juiciest and most thrilling Yaoi manga out there. I've read it all, and I'm not afraid to share my honest and unfiltered thoughts with you. From sweet and romantic love stories to spicy and steamy tales, I got you covered. My reviews are not only informative, but also hilarious. So you can expect to laugh your socks off while I spill the tea on your favorite yaoi manga. But before we start, this podcast is explicit. We'll be discussing mature themes, explicit themes, and all things that makes yaoi manga so delicious. So if you're not comfortable with that, it's probably best you tune out now. Let's get one thing clear though, spoiler alert, I am not afraid to dish out spoilers. So if you haven't read the manga we're talking about, you might want to skip this episode. But if you're brave enough to join us, we promise to make it worth your while. If you're ready to join us on this spicy adventure, grab a cold drink and a cozy blanket and get ready to join me on this wild ride of passion, laughter, and all things Yaoi. Welcome to Zeal Fujoshi. So the chapter starts with the coach having a hard time finding Kim Dan. Um, he's late for the doctor's appointment for Jay Kyung and he needs to see um, the doctor now, urgently, um, because there is no other time for Jay Kyung to actually see the doctor before the promotion for the matches and the photo shoots and all the TV appearances or whatever he needs to do to uh, for his obligations for his next match. Um, this is the only time Jay Kyung actually has the time to see the doctor with Kim Dan. So the coach enlists the help of none other than Jay Kyung to help find Kim Dan and pick him up so that they can go see the doctor right away. Now, Jake Kyung isn't too keen on the idea since it seems a bit over the top. He wants to reschedule it, but when he hears that the coach is serious about his health, and of course it's going to be a conflict on all of his prepared schedule, um... The doc that the, the coach really insists that Jay Kyung sees the doctor that day. Um, he also informs Jay Kyung that Kim Dan has really been staying up all night studying his medical records. Um, so in order for Kim Dan to continue his physical therapy as thoroughly as Kim Dan wants it to be for Jay Kyung, he really needs to bring Kim Dan to the doctor. Um, so, in the end, Jae Kyung decides to go ahead and pick up Kim Dan. But when Jo Jae Kyung arrives at Dan's home, he sees something he never expected. A group of gangsters trying to pin down our favorite doctor. Oh no. One of the gangsters recognizes Jae Kyung as the famous MMA fighter, but their boss insists on fighting Jae Kyung anyway and the boss thinks that the whole mma fight is all rigged anyway and probably jay kyung is just a pretty face who can't even really fight in real life and you know what joe jay kyung does an incredible job of making sure he doesn't get injured while defending dan from the gangster such a hero jay kyung even manages to defend against a man twice his height probably even twice his weight. Can you believe it? The man is a true fighter, both in and out of the ring. In the end, Jay Kyung pays off the total amount of Dan's debt to the gangster and asks this gangster to leave 
Kim Dan alone from now on. What a badass move. After all that excitement, Jae Kyung finally picks up Kim, Kim Dan so that they can go to the medical checkup. And you know what? This whole experience seems to be seems to have inspired Kim Dan because he's now even more determined to help Jae Kyung and find a better treatment for him. What a great team they make. That's it for chapter 17 of Jinx. Attention to all Yaoi manga lovers out there. Are you a talented individual with a passion for all things Fujoshi? If so, Zealed Fujoshi wants you. We're on the hunt for a team member to join our passionate and hilarious crew. If you have a knack for reviewing Yaoi manga, a love for all things is spicy and steamy, and a desire to share your opinion with the world, then we want to hear from you. Join our team and help us spread the Fujoshi spirit to all corners of the world. Whether you're a writer, editor, or a social media guru, we want your talent and expertise to take Zealed Fujoshi to the next level. So, if you're ready to embark on this exciting journey with us, reach out to us in the description below and let's make magic happen. Join the Zealed Fujoshi team today. Let's show the world what the Fujoshi spirit is all about. And that's a wrap. Fellow Fujoshis and Fudanshis, we hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Zealed Fujoshi, where we dished out all the hottest and juiciest yaoi manga. Remember to follow me on social media where I share even more yaoi goodness and behind the scenes content. And if you're loving the manga I am reviewing, don't forget to support the author, creator by purchasing their work and spreading the word to your fellow Fujoshis and Fudanshi friends. Thanks for tuning in Zeal Fujoshi and we'll catch you on the next episode. Until then, keep the Fujoshi spirit alive.